All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 44 in the Did You Know series, in which we'll be taking a look at five more things you might not know in WWE 2K20. As always, if there's anything you'd like to suggest to be covered in this series, then please do leave a comment below and you could see your suggestion featured in a future episode. Did you know that the original version of WWE 2K20 featured a different movie on the main menu? This one was something that I came across recently after reinstalling the original version of the game from the game disc as loading up version 1.0 shows this alternate movie playing on the main menu. Unlike the current movie that was added in version 1.01 and shows off the bump in the night DLC, this version of the movie is limited to clips of cover stars Roman Reigns and Becky Lynch and shows off early gameplay footage of them going up against various stars including the likes of Braun Strowman, Daniel Bryan, Bailey, and Sasha Banks to name a few. According to the developers who attended the playtest for the game back in September, it was said that the main menu movie would be updated with each DLC release to show off the new additions, however this only happened with the first DLC pack and has remained the same ever since. Did you know that the green moveset man also appears in Norway Hose's victory scene? Previously in the series, we covered somewhat of an easter egg that showed the return of the green moveset man from the Smackdown vs Raw games as green could be seen in Create a Victory when previewing Ted DiBiase's motion with a female superstar. In a follow up to this, Mr Bubba Ballers has revealed that the green moveset man also makes an appearance when previewing Norway Jose's victory motion as he can be seen taking part in a solo conga line as he dances around the ring. Did you know there is an alternate middle rope version of Kairi Sane's insane elbow? Previously in the series, we noted how there was an unused version of Alexa Bliss's insult to injury move that could be performed from the middle rope, however Wolfie T 2003 reveals that Alexa isn't the only superstar with an unused middle rope move as there is also an unused version of Kyrie Sane's insane elbow. Should you want to assign this move, then you can find it and create a move set where it's listed as Insane Elbow 2 in the Rope Diving Attacks to Downed Opponents category. Before we move on, let me take a moment to tell you about today's sponsor, The Ridge. Unlike traditional wallets, which are large and bulky, the Ridge wallet has a modern sleek design that doesn't stick out in your pocket. Depending on your preference, there's a ton of colours and materials that you can choose from, including titanium, aluminium, and my personal favourite, the Carbon Fibre Ridge, which is the one that I use. In a world where everything is digital and cash is an afterthought, the Ridge provides storage for up to 12 cards, whilst also offering RFID blocking technology to keep your cards safe from digital pickpockets. For those carrying cash, the Ridge also comes with the option of a cash strap or a cash clip, allowing you to safely store banknotes. If you want to pick one up, either for yourself or as a present for a friend, then you can head over to ridge.com forward slash smacktalks where you can save yourself 10% and get free worldwide shipping and returns if you use the voucher code SMACKTALKS. Did you know that there is alternate announcer audio when using female superstars in male gimmick matches? This one was one that was suggested by a lot of people, including Final Flash and Homer Senpai, as they all know the addition of alternate match intros when using female superstars. These alternate intros can be heard when playing the likes of Last Man Standing or Iron Man matches, as the audio has been updated to announce these as Last Woman Standing and Iron Woman matches, rather than referring to them as Last Man Standing or Iron Man like they were in 2K19. The following contest is a Last Woman Standing match. Did you know there was a hidden championship entrance and victory motion for Baron Corbin? Previously in the series, we noted how 2K had included an unfinished title entrance and victory motion for Alexa Bliss that was hidden within the game files, however it turns out that this isn't the only unfinished entrance, this is also one for Baron Corbin. Much like the Alexa entrance, Corbin's new title motions are also a work in progress, however his entrance is a lot more complete than Alexa's was as it only requires stage lighting to be added and a slight adjustment to the championship placement as the belt is placed a little bit too low. Those things considered, the entrance looks to be pretty good and I would imagine that it's something that we'll see finished up and included in the next game. As for Corbin's hidden championship victory motion, this too is pretty much complete, however as with the entrance, the championship isn't quite placed correctly and it appears to float next to his hand rather than have him hold it.
So there you go, that was five things you might not know in WWE 2K20. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then you can check out the previous video here, or alternately, you can subscribe to the channel and enable notifications for more Did You Know videos each and every week. Until then though, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.